Today, I want to answer the question, how high is too high? Hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany, and I want to share my knowledge with you. You know that C5 doesn't equal C5. So a C5 in my voice isn't the same as a C5 in your voice. You may have a similar voice type to mine, but still, it's not the same. Your timbre is different. Your technique is different. Just your history of singing is different. Your technical approach might be different. So high does not equal high. I want you to have this on your radar because it's such an important principle. Whenever you listen to a song that you would like to learn, always ask yourself, that pitch or those pitches in that song, where do they lie in that singer's voice so that they sound the way that they do? So a high pitch in that singer's voice, a high belted out chesty pitch in that singer's voice might lie in a totally different place than a high belted out chesty pitch lies in your voice. It's very important. Also, a falsetto pitch in someone else's voice may lie in a different place than a falsetto pitch in your voice. So if it's too low, like, Oh, that is not falsetto yet in my voice because it's quite low. Oh, that is more falsetto. That can be sung in falsetto in my voice because it lies in an area of my voice where I can sing falsetto. Falsetto is defined as a more breathy head voice. At the same time, a high belted pitch in my voice wouldn't be low. That is not a high belted pitch. That is just plain middle chest voice in my voice. La! That is more of a high belted chest voice pitch in my voice. It might be in a totally different place in your voice. Full head voice may start in a different place in your voice than it does in my voice. Oh! So I'm a lyrical or tour soprano. You might be a baritone. So your head voice is in a totally different place. So first of all, when you do any exercise, make sure you adjust it to work in your voice. It's not just about singing the right pitch, it's about singing the right pitch in the right register with the right technique and voice color. And that probably could be in a different place in your voice than someone else's. So answering the question, how high is too high? Here's my answer. It's too high when you continuously strain over the course of several pitches. That is too high. If you have a song that is a challenge because there are a couple of pitches that go really high, like right on your limit, that might be a challenge, but it's not too high yet. On the other hand, if the tessitura of the song, meaning where it sits most of the time, you struggle over a large area of that song or a large duration, then that probably is too high. Also, it's too high when you lose your good technique. As long as you can sustain a good technique and have a clear tone or ever the color that you actually want to achieve, it's okay. But as soon as you begin just getting really hoarse, not on purpose, but really raspy, hoarse, pushed, and you have to cough, you have all these sensations in your throat that are not comfortable, that is too high. Here is my rule. When you practice going higher, go to your limits, but when you perform in your songs, only go to a place where you can actually technically sustain that. So meaning when I practice, it doesn't have to sound pretty and it doesn't have to be perfect. I only do it a couple of times going to my absolute limit. It's not about sounding pretty, it's about just stretching. Okay, it sounds bad. Didn't quite get there, but that's not the point of the exercise. The point of the exercise is to stretch. However, when there is a piece of music coming along, I might not want to choose that pitch on which I have to struggle already and I don't have really great technique yet. Same goes for chest voice. Na 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 I'm starting to feel that it's, <laughs> I'm just really getting scratchy here and all. So I want to practice that in my warm-up routine and in my 
just trying to focus on extending my range, but that's not anything I would incorporate in songs a lot because it would be too high and it's obvious to everyone who listens. So keep that in mind. Don't sing too high constantly. Practice your limits and make sure you always work on expanding your range. And by the way, I have a free 28 day challenge that's here on YouTube. I will put the link here and yeah, check it out. It's very valuable. It's about extending your range on the top and on the bottom, 28 lessons. I hope this video helped you. If it did, share it with a friend who also wants to learn about singing. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that bell symbol so you will be notified when I go live so we can have a live hangout and I can answer all your questions. Be watching out for my announcement about my masterclass. It's a four month program in which you can have me as your personal coach every single day for four months. I will open up registration soon. Until next time, always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Let the sky fall